Do you ever miss doing a technique and you think, God, I just really got to get back to that? Uh, th that's kind of what I'm doing here today. I'm, I'm doing a pearl cell painting and I had done several different pearl cell paintings and I found myself kind of missing doing it and wanted to go back and kind of try my hand at it again and see if I could, you know, brush off the rust of my pearl cell painting skills. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing here. Um, I am also doing it, it's inspired by Michelle Golly. She did a video uh, pretty recently that's, uh, I think in the title is how to, how to Get Perfect Pearls. So I'm actually basing this off of that video uh, after watching hers and um, kind of her recipe. And I think I might have tweaked it a tiny bit, but um, it's basically after her. So I'm gonna leave a end card here so that you could go and check out her video. It's really pretty awesome. So yeah, then that's what you see me do is I'm putting down my pearl cell base coat here. That's really pretty thin and um, just using my gloved hand to do it uh, just to get the job done and I will be torching off here in a second just to get rid of any of those air bubbles that you see coming up. I think I need to like always kind of go over what really is the idea and the concept behind uh, pearl cell painting and the pearl cell um, kind of concept and idea. This white base coat is a really pretty thin, almost milk-like consistency. And you want that base coat to be that way. And your paints are actually about the same. They're pretty thin like that as well. Maybe just a tad thicker. Uh, but then when you put the initial pour down, when you pour the colors down over this white pearl cell base coat, and then you start to shift it around, what you wanna do is shift it around, stretch paint off so that you get that top layer of paint that is creating the design with the colors to stretch thin so that this lighter you know, pearl cell paint that is white underneath is gonna pop up and create these beautiful white pearls coming through. Now, a lot of times I will do a flip cup or a straight pour when doing a pearl cell painting and then shift that image around to get the pearls. In this case, I chose to do puddles with my colors and my colors were Charvin Indigo, Modern Masters Venetian Blue, Pebio Blue Green, um, Modern Masters Copper, and Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold, and I decided to do some ribbons of the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold and the Charvin, um, just to kind of give that a little bit of interest to the composition. And now, as you can see, I'm starting to try to open up the image and just kind of move it around in a circular motion until I decide to go off um, there and, and then stretch it. I think I'm probably stretching it obviously the paint back to center and then off and around I think I'm taking it off that side and yeah just trying to open up an image and see what kind of interesting image will develop here What I really like about this painting is once I started shifting it around and tilting it and tilting some of the paint off to get the um, you know paint thinner so that we would start to see these pearl cells develop and as you can see now you're starting to see some of them developing on the Modern Masters Venetian Blue and um, as Michelle Golly says in her video Modern Masters Venetian Blue is a real cell activator like it is a very cell reactive paint and she was not lying as you can see 
that uh those pearl cells are starting to like kind of eat up through into the modern masters venetian blue and what i really liked about this though was that's happening and you're going to see that develop more and more as the video goes on but that pebio blue green doesn't do that as much like it doesn't react as much um cell wise and so it's creating this kind of beautiful depth of like water like i feel like it looks like you can see the some of the white looks like petals now starting to happen that looks like petals in water and the gold the 24 karat gold kind of looks like it's things that are laying beneath the water um, so I really thought that was cool. You're getting some really interesting transparency layers and that really kind of made me happy. Um, and it also kind of gave me a direction to start taking the painting in um, based on that and you know how I manipulate it with some of the paint and like you see here taking some of that reactive um, white pearl cell mixture through it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I started to go. I felt like this had a very nautical feel um, and, and very beautiful, uh, like you're looking through a pool of water at um, some blossoms or leaves or things that have fallen into the water. Um, but yeah, I mean, you'll see this develop more and more as this video progresses. <laughs> So yes, I'm going to leave my pearl cell paint mixture that's based on Michelle Golly's recipe in my description box. I'm also, along with the uh, end card that I'm connecting to Michelle's video, I'll also connect her video in my description box as well. Now, if you like this video, you found it informative or maybe inspiring in some way, please hit that like button. And if you liked it, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new videos. And then please leave me a comment because I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you like about this video, maybe what you didn't like, or what you'd like to see in future videos. In case you missed it, at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Julie E. had a live premiere at Acrylic Painting with Julie E. and Angie Mason Fluid Art went at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at An Angie Mason Fluid Art. They were doing a Mardi Gras collaboration together, so be sure and check those videos out. Um, I also have a the Bling It On Parade Fat Tuesday tomorrow, a Mardi Gras collaboration, and my live premiere will be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please check that out. It's a lot of fun. and. K and K Create will have their live premiere this evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right after me. Please check them out. Now I'm continuing to use some of the pearl cell mixture uh, to embellish and run some more lines and style lines and run some interesting kind of you know delineation of shapes through. Um, what feels like this watery background um, in the blue and that Pebio blue green. And as you can see, that Modern Masters, like I said, Michelle was not lying, uh, <laughs> Modern Masters Venetian blue is a cell maker. And you can see those cells continue to grow and multiply and kind of pop out, you know, out of nowhere um, into that Modern Masters uh, Venetian blue. And I really love what that's looking like, and I'm giving some highlight to that shape um, along the edge of that water line there um, with the pearl cell white mixture, and just kind of f having fun. Like I, I just loved kind of playing with this and playing with the lines of it all, um, just to kind of see what I could get and what could develop. But you really can see at this angle. Um, that it does look like you're looking through water in, into some maybe some leaves or some petals that have submerged. Um, and yeah, I was really, really pleased with the way the composition was turning out. Um, just uh, torching off a little bit to get rid of any bubbles. And uh, as time goes on and 
and you see like more and more of those pearl cells continue to pop up and kind of really create this really nice kind of almost under the sea like quality to to this painting Now I'm going to take you down and I'm going to move you around the image. Please try not to get vertigo or to get too dizzy. I may have done this a little too fast. Um, but there will be another video coming up right after this where I kind of am slowed down a little bit showing you the wet results. But as you can see, there's some beautiful shimmer from that 24 karat gold being kind of at that thinner consistency. It has dispersed into areas and given it really nice kind of glittery kind of uh, shine and sheen um, to the painting and even in the dried results it, it stayed the same way um, and so here it is and you can see all of that bling all of that shimmer and shine in the Venetian blue there and so some of the Venetian blue didn't completely get sold up because I think it had some of that gold that prevented it maybe from happening uh, and which is kind of nice because it it led to um, having maybe more of a distinctive composition so that everything wasn't just turning into a bunch of cells. <laughs> um, but there are some cool, really interesting, beautiful cells, beautiful pearl cells that developed and um, pretty perfect looking. Thank you, Michelle. That really does work. I, I really want you to check out her video. It was great. And I've enjoyed doing this with you. And I think this uh, particular piece I'm going to call um, water blossoms because of those beautiful white kind of blossomy looking flower shapes there that look like they're in the pool of water and uh, I really have enjoyed this time with you and I can't wait until we meet again and we have some more fun pouring together.